Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good spring break. Miss Balatoni is here to read the passages on the spring packet that I said I would. And maybe some of you want to get an early start on them. All right, so the first passage is called Tippy Toe Chick Go. It is a fiction passage. That means it's made up. It came out of the author's imagination. It's not real. Um, so, but it's still nice to read, right? We read a lot of fiction stories. After you read the story, you have to complete this graphic organizer. It's similar to the ones that we use in class. It's asking you to write down who the characters are, what the settings are. Right now, my setting is here in my home. I'm in my living room. And your setting is probably in your living room. It also asks you to list the events of the story. Those are the things that happen in the story. So what happens first? What happens next? What happens then? And what happens last? Remember that when we retell, we retell a story in order. And we want to list only the events that are the most important events. Without those events, the story wouldn't make any sense. We talked about that. So you're not going to list everything that happens in the story, only the most important things that happen. All right. Well, let's find out what those important events are. So the title of the first one is Tippy Toe Chick Go. What great idea will little chick have? There's little chick. What great idea will she have? Every morning, when the dew had dried, Hen took her chicks to the garden for their favorite treat. Sweet itty-bitty beans and potato bugs. Hen, Big Chick, and Middle Chick next, with Little Chick trailing along behind, stopping to wonder at this and that, then running tippy-toe, tippy-toe to catch the rest across the yard, into the garden, to eat, eat, eat. Every day, every day of the week, till one day, ruff, 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 a big, grumpy dog came running their way, barking and growling at the end of a rope. Hen jumped back and pulled her chicks near. There's no safe way to the beans today. We'll just have to wait for the chicken feed. All three chicks said, Black! and frowned. We're hungry. You promised. We did our chores. Hen sighed. But we'll never get past a dog like that. Big Chick said, Wait, I'll take care of this. He slowly took a step toward the dog. Now listen, he called. We won't hurt you. We're just going to the garden for an itty bitty treat. Ruff, 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 ruff. Dog disagreed. Barking and pulling at the end of his rope, Big Chick ran to hide under Hen's safe wing. Middle Chick took a breath then stepped toward Dog. I'm hungry, so you'd better stop it right now, or you'll be sorry when we get hold of you. Ruff, 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 ruff. Dog disagreed, barking and pulling at the end of his rope. Middle Chick ran to hide under Hen's safe wing. Let's go, said Hen. We'll really have to wait. Little Chick peeped. I want to try. Oh, no, said Hen, as the other chicks laughed. You're much too small. Little Chick yelled, but I can run. And off she went, tippy-toe, tippy-toe, as fast as she could, straight toward the dog. Hen screamed and grabbed her heart. Big Chick closed his eyes. Middle Chick shook. 
little chick ran, tippy toe, tippy toe, without stopping to rest till she felt dog's breath. Then little chick laughed and began to run again, tippy toe, tippy toe, around the tree. Dog chased after her, tugging at his rope. Ruff, 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 ruff. Tippy toe, tippy toe, around the tree. Tippy toe, tippy toe. Tippy, ruff, 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 around and around. Tippy toe, tippy toe, till ruff, ruff, yip, yip, yip. Dog's rope was wrapped all around the tree. He was stuck. And too mad to think back up. Hen clucked with pride. Big chick and middle chick just stood and stared. Little chick called, "It's time to eat!" And off they ran, tippy toe, tippy toe, right past dog and into the garden for their favorite treat: sweet itty bitty beans and potato bugs. Yum. Hmm. Very clever little chick. All right, so that was the story. Right now, you can reread it. That means to read again. You can rewatch the video. You can stop it in places to stop and think. And then you're going to fill out this graphic organizer. Characters, setting, what happens first, what happens next, what happens then, and what happens last. All right, I know you'll do a good job. I'll see you back in a second. I will read the second passage.